Welcome to Barbecue Food For You, the Backyard Barbecue Channel. Today we're going to be showing everyone how easy it is to cook up roast beef using your barbecue. Let's get started. Today we're using the Weber 22 and a half inch kettle filled up with Nature's Own Sugar Maple Hardwood Charcoal. Take the charcoal and line it around five inches around half the barbecue. And this is just a Weber starter cube. Gonna light it, get things going. Now let's go in the kitchen and get everything else prepped. For the drip pan, we're gonna use to make a little gravy when it's all done. To that, I like to add one onion and two cloves of garlic chopped up, but that's optional. To that, once we get on the barbecue, gonna add six cups of water. To keep a good eye on the temperature of the barbecue and the internal temp of the meat, we're going to be using our Maverick Ready Check ET732. Good folks at Maverick Industries sent me two replacement probes after I sort of messed them up. So let's show you how to get them all set up on the barbecue. Before getting the Maverick Ready Check all set up, place your drip pan on, add six cups of water. It's much easier doing this on the barbecue than trying to carry it. On this style of barbecue, place the barbecue probe right in the middle. Run the wires down through the air vents and the remote transmitter can just hang there. The beef we're going to be using today is a 7 pound eye of round roast. Start by taking paper towel and just gently dry it off. Then we'll go in and trim off the thick pieces of fat. Not all of it, but just the big chunks. After you trim off the large chunks of fat, just brush on some extra virgin olive oil, giving it a good coating. And we're going to sprinkle on some salt and fresh cracked black pepper. Just got the beef on the barbecue. Take your internal temp probe, place it into the thickest part that you can find. Right down deep in the middle. And I'm going to add 8 ounces of hickory wood for a little bit of smoke. Everything's looking good. Place the lid on, sit back, and let it cook. With your barbecue set up like this, it's easy to cook low and slow. 225 degrees is the temperature you're looking for, and this recipe can also be done on your gas grill set up for indirect cooking. Sit back, let the smoke roll. It's a nice day. Roast has been on the barbecue for an hour now, and it smells great. Let's crack it open, take a peek, spin it around 180 degrees to ensure you've been cooking. Whew, looking good. First thing, take your temp probe out. It's hot, so uh, put on an oven mitt. Then just take it and spin it right around. Place your oven mitt back on, take the temp probe, try and get in the deepest part, right in the middle. Shut the lid, let that keep cooking away. Roast has been on for a little over two hours and I'm shooting for an internal temp of 135 degrees. Now I know everyone likes their beef different, but when you get 10 degrees below your target temp, fire up another chimney full of charcoal and get it on the barbecue so we can sear that roast on the outside. Now let's pull the roast off. Take your temp probes out. Just set it on the cutting board. fabric barbecue probe and the meat temperature probe before doing the next step. Take your chimney of lit charcoal and dump her on. Give it a minute to get nice and hot and get started on the gravy. Take your drip pan and just add it into a pot. And to that we're slowly going to whisk in three tablespoons of white flour. 
Now just take your roast and give it a sear. Keep a close eye on it, flipping it every 30 seconds or so, just to get a nice brown crust on the outside. It smells so good. Once you have a nice sear, take it off and it's ready to serve. Internal temp in the middle of the roast is sitting at 132 degrees. Let's cut it open, see how it looks. Let's take a knife, cut it right down the middle. Give that a minute, the red will start coming out in the meat. Barbecue roast beef hot off the grill, time to eat. Barbecue roast beef hot off the grill and it's time to eat. Be sure to subscribe for more barbecue videos and it's easy to do. Barbecue food for you, give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Delish.